In this video, I want to show you quickly how to geocode using the Esri engine in order to get the results that you need. In lab, I showed you how to geocode with a street network, but you can actually use the Esri engine instead to geocode across a large geography like the entire United States. So let me show you how. First, we need to convert our Excel spreadsheet uh, to a GIS friendly table. So here we'll go to uh, my workspace on C uh, and I've got a geocoding uh, folder. So here are my addresses just to, to launch Excel. Here are the addresses. I've given an ID number to them and an address. You could add a whole bunch of more attribute information if you need to. All right, so let's bring that in to ArcMap. So here in catalog, I'm going to connect to my workspace. I did that here. All right. And now I'm going into geocoding, and there are my addresses. So in Arc Toolbox, I'm going to go to the conversion tool and bring that into a GIS-friendly table. In order to do that, I have to have a geodatabase to put that into. Remember that. Let's see here. All right. So in the conversion tools, Excel, Excel to table, this tool is asking me to put this into a geodatabase. All right. So here I'm going to load my Excel table. All right. And Excel is closed, so it's not locked. And notice here, yep, going right into a geodatabase. This is my default geodatabase, but I'm going to create one for this project. All right, see workspace, geocoding, and here I will create a new geocoding geodatabase. I'll go in there, and I will name this my addresses okay and I want sheet one that's the only option for me great Hit okay and now as this is converting uh, the Excel spreadsheet to a GIS friendly table once that is completed we will be able to then do our geocoding notice here I have nothing in my table of contents no layers or any kind of geography I haven't set it in any way so there's no coordinate system right now assigned to it or anything like that, okay? All right, now these geocoding layers require us, or the geocoding process requires us to actually be logged in to Esri, okay? So I could right-click and choose to geocode, but currently you'll see I am not signed in to ArcGIS at all. So I first need to do that. So let's do that. And you already have a login for our organizational account at Calvin. So let me go ahead and log in for mine. Again, you did this in lab five. All right, sign in. Okay, excellent. Now I am signed in. You can see here I am, Jay Van Horn. So now I can actually use the Esri engine instead of creating my own address locator and using my own street network. All right, so here I'm going to go to geocode addresses. Now I will choose the ArcGIS World Geocoding Service for this geocoding. All right, and now I'm going to have to fill out for my addresses this, this GIS friendly table now. Uh, I've got address, and I'm going to put the results in the same geocoding. Uh, um, uh, so, sorry, not the same geocoding, but the same geodatabase. And I'll hit OK. And since I had three addresses in there, I should have three matched, and I do. Three matched. OK, so I hit close, and now let's take a look at them. So let's lo look at the addresses themselves. It looks like we've got one in Gainesville, Florida, one in Jacksonville, Florida, and one in Miami, Florida. So let's take a look and see if we have the state of Florida. So here are the ad, the, the, the um, results of the geocoding. And let's add a base map and just see if we have the right geographies. I'll add imagery with labels and see if we found the right places.
Okay, it looks like the geocoding was successful. Uh, and we have our three uh, locations here. Let's make them bigger and a different color so that we can see them more clearly. Excellent. So we have Jacksonville, Gainesville, and Miami. So probably those are in the right spots. They geocoded. And that's the way that you can go about geocoding by not adding a street network or an address locator because you're dealing with a, a geography across the whole United States. Now, this process does take up credits, but I've assigned every student uh, a certain number of credits. So if you run out of credits because you're doing all this geocoding, uh, then I'll get an email and we can add more credits for your project. I hope this helps. Thanks.